I just lost one mile of range as soon as I put my foot down. It was hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the cheapest Ford F-150 Lightning for sale in the USA. Now, I know that it is a bold claim, but hear me out. Ford has recently increased the price on the Lightning Pro by a massive amount. A Lightning Pro is now about $60,000. Now, this particular Lightning is an XLT, so it's a little bit more expensive than a Pro. However, Every single Ford dealership, not every single one, but almost every single Ford dealership is marking up their F-150 Lightnings, massive amounts over MSRP. We're talking $10,000, $20,000 over MSRP. And this particular Lightning is at Ed Kenley Ford here in Utah, and they don't do any sort of markups. And so this Lightning XLT happens to have one of the lowest MSRPs that you can have on a Lightning, and it has absolutely no markup on it. And so that makes it the cheapest F-150 Lightning for sale in the USA. Again, a huge shout out link to the Ed Kenley Ford here, link to their website in the description down below. We're going to do a quick tour of this Lightning, take it out and drive it, and I guess at the end of the video, we'll decide if you should, in fact, purchase the cheapest F-150 Lightning for sale in the USA. Let's get into it. So we're actually going to start off with the key fob with this Lightning review. You guys can see the Ford logo, and that's because, well, we're going to open up the frunk. It takes a second, just, just give her a little bit of time. Now this is one of the big selling factors of the Lightning is the frunk. So first off, you guys can see we have the mass of outlets here on the side. We got a little escape button as well. And then you guys can see 400 pounds is the most that you can put on this. And then you got a little bit of storage space underneath. But yeah, it definitely adds to the practicality. But when you're all done, all you gotta do is just press that button right there and that will lower the front right back down. Now, before we dive further into the review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, this has the standard battery setup, so it's a 98 kilowatt hour battery pack paired to a dual electric motor setup. This gives the truck 452 horsepower and then 775 pound-feet of torque with a driving range of 240 miles on one single charge. Now, being the XLT, you guys can see that we have the normal F-150 Lightning hood, and in white, I think it looks pretty cool. Popping down below, we have the F-150 Lightning signature light bar here. Now, if you get the Pro, you don't get the cool light bar, so you gotta go at least XLT if you want the cool front light bar. And then you guys can see, we've got the parking sensors here on the front end with the tow hooks as well. And putting it all together, other than the light bar, it pretty much looks like a regular F-150. Now, coming on the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the wheel design with the silver around it. And then you've got the black portion in the center. And the wheel's actually mostly closed off. Now, this right here is a dud. It's not a real charging port. This, on the other hand, is not a dud. <laughs> it's actually a charging port. You guys can see the whole setup right there. Now, you guys can see on the XLT, you got the more baseline looking mirrors and then door handles as well. And then we do have fixed side steps here on the side. And then, of course, we got our lightning badge there on the side. And then with the new lightning, we have independent rear suspension as well as independent front suspension. And that's one of the big differences with the lightning compared to the regular F-150 because the regular F-150 has leaf springs and a solid rear axle. And when you put it all together, again, it looks pretty much like a regular F-150. The biggest difference is all of the body lines are a little bit smoother, and I think that's just for aerodynamic efficiency. Now, popping into the rear, this actually has Ford's regular tailgate, so it's not dampened, so you make sure that you uh, pull it down yourself. But anyways, with the bed, we've got 2,001 pounds of payload capacity. We also have Ford's bed step system right here, and then we've got the measuring charts here. This one actually has a little bed mat, and then we have the Pro Power on board as well and when you're all done lifting up the tailgate you got to use a little bit of muscle now although this has the front light bar it does not have the rear light bar which is kind of interesting so it's got the stubby version of the lightning's taillights and then you guys can see with the american flag right there and we've got parking sensors at the rear and then if you guys are wondering towing capacity with this truck is 7700 pounds putting it all together i said this when the lightning was first released i think ford did a really good job of styling because they basically took the f-150 electrified it and didn't make it look awkward now, popping inside, you guys can see here with the trim at the top and then down below, just like a regular XLT F-150 and then darker trim right there. Cup holder action and then tons of storage space here on the door panel. And then here are these seats, as you can see, pretty similar to regular XLT seats. I think they look nice. And there is under seat storage on top of that. Now, legroom here in the back is fantastic. We also have a little storage pocket. We got some cup holder action. We got some vents here in the back with a bunch of different charging ports. And then headroom back here is also great. Now, taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see with the trim at the top, and here's actually a better 
view of that and then the padding down below. All of our window controls front two are automatic. We've got all of our mirror adjustments, door lock and unlock, and then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors too. Now here are the front seats. You guys can see similar to the back seats in terms of overall design. And then notice partially power adjustable, partially manually adjustable. And then we also have our pedal adjustment here, parking brake, light controls, mirror lights. That is our little American flag there on the side. And then the steering wheel is also manually adjustable. And then that's actually to open up the front right there. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice padding all around. We've got the contrast and stitching there on the center portion. Controls for the center stack, phone controls, volume control, voice command controls. It also comes with cruise control as well. And then we have our turn signal windshield wiper stock. Now with the center gauge cluster, we have a full digital gauge cluster. Notice it shows us battery temp there at the top, which is important. It shows us our range here on the side. Uh, and that's actually, you know, range that's adjusted based on driving conditions and temperature and all that, which is great. Um, but, and then here in the center, you can also see different bits of info on the truck itself. I'm um, usually just do uh, my view. I guess this one's set to calm screen. So I guess we'll pop over to uh, trip info to see what's uh, happening with the uh, different uh, trips, but super customizable. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. We also have a bird's eye view as well because this has a full 360 camera system. Even got the bed cam view as well. Auxiliary cams if you want to add that on. And this is like your zoom in function there on the receiver hitch area. You guys can see here for the camera to pop that on, you've got that for your parking sensors, hazard lights, stability control. It's not going to pop on. Anyways, down below with the rest of the infotainment system, um, really good response time. This is just Ford's, you know, regular large uh, displays to 12 inch infotainment system. Um, but important stuff to know here, we've got our drive modes within the infotainment system. So you guys can see we've got a normal mode, we've got a sport, we have an off road, and then we have a tow haul mode as well. And um, notice that when I'm in the normal mode, I can go down here to additional settings and this is where I can do like the uh, one pedal drive. We also have a locking differential with the truck as well. It's not a true mechanical locker. It basically is just making it so that the rear wheels will spin at the same uh, rate because you got an electric motor there in the back. Again, dual electric motor setup. Um, but overall, I prefer this infotainment system to the one in the Lariat, which is like vertical because this, I don't know, I feel like it just looks so much better. You also got your pro power on board, your charge settings. I mean, literally, it's it's got everything you need. Well, I guess we got a little coin holder right there. We got some volume controls here. Uh, heated seats for the front, dual zone climate as well. And then down below, we've got more storage space right here. We've got a couple cup holders. And then we have our shifter here to put it into gear. It does the fold down function. That's because this has the workbench center console, tons of storage space. And then you guys can see here with the trim on the glove box and also second glove box and a nice padding here on the dash. Now we don't have a lot happening there because no sunroof and then also the rear glass is fixed. So here's our window sticker for this F-150 Lightning XLT. Um, so you guys can see 311A equipment group um, and there's not a lot added to this when it comes to packaging. So base MSRP 59,474, total MSRP 63,584. And yes, I know you could technically get a pro for a little bit cheaper, but this has some nice creature comforts and good luck getting a pro at MSRP. Again, this one is at MSRP. <laughs> Let's drive it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both of the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the cheapest Ford F-150 Lightning for sale in the USA. And I want to back up my point here. I want to back up my point. So, obviously we all know that most Ford dealers are charging over MSRP for these. This one is at MSRP. But it's not the cheapest MSRP. The cheapest MSRP is a base model Pro which starts at just over $55,000 before destination charge. After destination charge, it's something like 57 ish thousand dollars. So if you get a base model pro at MSRP, yes, you will be like six ish thousand dollars uh, less money than this truck, but good luck finding one, <laughs> right? And so like, seriously, uh, good luck finding one and good luck finding one for MSRP. And so I think like with a realistic truck that actually exists today that you could actually buy for MSRP today, I, I don't know of any others in the US. So like that's that's to back up my uh, points with this being the cheapest in the USA, at least as of me filming this video. And yes, I understand that people could have bought pros for $40,000 when the Lightning first came out, but this is 2023 folks, 2022 is over. Those pros don't exist anymore. <laughs> so that's my uh, other thing to that. But anyways, talking about how this drives, first off, seat comfort is actually really uh, solid. 
Um, it was really cold today initially, but now it's warmer. It's 42 degrees now. When I first came here, it was like 29 degrees. And that's something we need to talk about is obviously being a fully electric vehicle doesn't do as good in the cold. You do lose uh, quite a bit of range. What I've seen with most electric vehicles, it de depends right on the exact temperature, but it seems like you usually lose anywhere from like 10% on the low side to more like, you know, 20, 30% of the available range while it's uh, cold especially if it gets really cold and so just kind of understand that with going all electric now being all electric means it's super smooth like and do I, yeah i still have the one pedal drive on it's just, the acceleration's just like seamless obviously there's no there's no engine sound yeah the one pedal drive's interesting because obviously you know it does the regen and so you put your you pull your foot off and then it just instantly starts braking for you now when it comes to like f-150s i still like i still stand by this this is the most comfortable f-150 on the market like the suspension is it hailing yeah it's hailing uh the suspension is like so compliant again having independent suspension versus a solid rear axle helps out quite a bit not only with handling but just with overall ride comfort and so ford's just nailed it with this when it comes to comfort so we'll pop it into the sport mode here there we go sport mode Oh, I can already feel it kind of like, it feels a little bit more aggressive. I'm gonna give this GMC a little bit of space because we're on a rocket ship. We got, got lots of power. I just lost one mile of range as soon as I put my foot down. It was like 156, 155, just instantly. It's it's quick. We'll get like a acceleration from a standstill, but like even like already up and moving, like passing power with this is great. Not a problem whatsoever. And on the highway, you do get a little bit of buffeting here by the uh, pillar, which again, every single pickup truck does that. So that's nothing new. But I think another thing is, since I can't hear like an engine rumbling to accelerate, it makes the wind noise more prominent. But other than that, I mean, this thing is so smooth. It's a full on luxury car. Yeah, suspension's amazingly comfortable. I mean, this, other than the range part of it, right? And the charging infrastructure, this would be such a good road trip vehicle because of how comfortable it is with everything. And you go over bumps and they just don't even exist. Man, if more um, vehicles ride like this in the future, I am I am excited. Because I think that is great. Okay, let's see if I don't have to put my foot on the brake at all. I'll regen here. Okay, I'm actually going to have to put my foot on the accelerator because it's too aggressive. Okay, I'll regen again. Do, do, do. Okay, I, have to, I literally have to keep putting my foot on the accelerator because of how aggressive the regen is. So that is, that's cool that it's that like aggressive oh cool we got a green arrow okay we're gonna try this from more of a standstill so we're gonna have to like oh yeah that that first uh 40 miles per hour that is the most aggressive part of it i mean it is pretty crazy yeah i mean it just <laughs> it kicks the tires loose a little bit it's it's pretty fun so something things up I really love how the F-150 Lightning drives. I want to like really, really love this truck. The big downside is while you're towing it, right, you lose a bunch of range. So it's not really practical as a tow truck unless you're just towing short distances. So it's more of like a uh, cross neighborhood tower rather than a cross country or cross county tower. And then, you know, as a daily driver, it's, it's really good. So I guess if you're just gonna like daily drive with the truck 99% of the time, this would be great as long as your commute's not too long. And then as long as you're like not planning on towing more than like, I don't know, 50 to maybe hundred miles. Actually, this is a 230 version. So don't go more than 50 miles, <laughs> especially if it's cold outside, because then you'll get stranded on the side of the road and then you have to get a tow truck to tow you and your trailer because you'll be stuck. But let me know what you guys think about what is currently the cheapest brand new Ford F-150 Lightning for sale in the USA.